The assembly of an Allen Bradley IEC three-piece starter is made easy with the E300 electronic overload relay. To make a three-component starter, you will need a circuit breaker, a contactor, and an overload relay, such as the E300 electronic overload relay. First, take the eco adapter and insert it into the load side of the circuit breaker. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, tighten the load side terminals. Next, take the contact coils that are located on the line side of the contactor and move them to the load side of the contactor. To do this, Use a standard screwdriver and unlatch the coil latches. Next, pull up on the contactor. Take the coil terminals located on the line side of the contactor and place them on the load side of the contactor. Next, replace the top of the contactor and using the standard screwdriver, relatch the coil terminals. Next, take the coil module and place it into the contacts of the coil. Using a Phillips screwdriver, tighten the coil contacts. Next, attach the circuit breaker to the contactor. The circuit breaker goes on the line side of the contactor. Next, tighten the terminals on the line side of the contactor. Next, mount the overload relay to the load side of the contactor. Using your finger or a screwdriver, press down on the retaining latch. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, tighten the terminals on the load side of the contactor. Next, remove the marker tab from the E300 communication module and use a standard screwdriver to tighten the terminals on the line side of the overload relay. Next, replace the marker tab. When completed, the three-piece IEC starter will look like this. The starter can be mounted on DIN rail. Next, apply control power to the terminals on the overload relay. And now you have a functional IEC three-component starter.